This is Twit. So we, I have lots of questions about both uh, Agile in general and uh, Taiga in particular. Uh, I don't. Can you give us sort of the, the, the problem that Taiga is solving? Well, Taiga is solving, I think, two main problems. Uh, one, it's about the platform itself and uh, what it does. So it's features, it's functionality. Another one is actually uh, the open source nature of Taiga. Um, so in terms of features, I honestly believe it is the one of the best, let's say one of the best um, agile project management tool that you can get. So as long as you understand, and we can go into some detail you know, in a minute, the agile principles, you embrace that way of uh, building, uh, not just software really, but any, any, any product or any project, you, will, you should find Tiger really speaking your language all the time. Like it's the, uh, with that mindset already built in. Um, all the project management tools out there really try to cover too much. They want to be maybe agile, but also the typical waterfall model or, you know, any other system methodology. So you get, you, you finally get like this huge platform that tries to do everything, you know. So Tiger, I think, solves uh, beautifully the uh, agile way of basically develop, developing any project. So let's back up again. For a lot of our audience probably is not familiar with Agile or is familiar with it in the way that I'm familiar with it, which is badly implemented by many, many yeah. different groups who didn't totally get the picture. Okay. How is Agile different from the, the traditional model or say, as I described in the opening, the, the, you know, driven by bugs being the only way that you're solving things? How, how is Agile different and what, what advantages does it have? Well, I think Agile, uh, which actually came in, in, in a way from the software world, is many things you start from that and then you know go uh, to other fields. It's basically acknowledging that you don't really know what is what you want uh, from the start for uh, any project. Mm. It's acknowledging that you have some vision, maybe some horizon, some idea, some strategy, but you're really humble enough to start with some basic. Uh, version, prototype, you know, uh, whatever you can call it, and adapt it uh, after you get some feedback, you know. So you're willing to start with little information. You're willing to take the risk of starting a massive project without having all the variables, uh, like, known. But you, it's not only that you're humble, it's that you, are, you have the appropriate tools so you can adapt to change. You know, it's, it's also a way of embracing change. It's also a way of how your team works. It's also a way of how you manage different stakeholders, you know. So um, Agile is, is here basically coming from the software world to basically say the obvious. You don't know what you're going to build, really. Uh, you, and, and less and less you are able to predict the future in such a way, you could actually start with a list of requirements, you know, fine grain list of requirements, and actually implement that and nothing else, you know. Or any changes come within your team, you know, with, without interacting with the, with the exterior. So Agile is basically the way when software development started to be so complex. It has been always, you know, always been complex, but so complicated, you cannot predict even what you want in a month time. Then Agile is here to say, okay, this is, this is the tool we can, we can start using. Or if not the tool, the mindset. Um, so no, you do not have this, you know, state machine. Like we, you start with the analysis and then you go to, design and then you do some back-end development and then you go to you know whatever data modeling and then you do integration sequentially you know you start by creating some very primitive version of what you want and then evolve from that and the good thing about uh, about agile is that it's focused on production ready prototypes always even the first version should be deployed 
It's about delivering value. Um, unfortunately, I think over the past, let's say, two years, agile is, is considered officially a buzzword. Uh, right? I mean, it's... Yeah, it's, definitely. Uh, definitely. So, but in a way, open source was the buzzword, I think. Uh, I remember 2003, 2004, open source, you know, open source was catching up in, in, the, in the business arena, okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is a buzzword, but it doesn't invalidate what it provides, the meaning, you know, uh, what, it, what it's about. So I think we will, as, as open source or any other term, um, that it really has some weight to it, some meaning. I think we will overcome this uh, two to three year buzzword uh, environment that it's not, it's not being harmful, but it's doing uh, a particular type of um, hit, uh, damage, which is, um, I've tried it, and it doesn't work for me, you know? Mm. Yeah. Um, I've really, I have a lot of experience in basically going to companies or teams or even open source projects that, you know, they, they in a way they're developing similar to Agile uh, principles. And they, th they always think, invariably, they always think they are so unique, the <laughs> problem at hand, they are, it's so special, their team is so different from you know, what you typically get. So I wonder what you typically get. That Agile won't work for them. You know? And they forget to read the literature because Agile is a way of doing things. It's not a set of recipes, you know, that you have to follow. It's a way of really uh, developing something and it's a framework. So you can actually adapt yourself to that framework or, your, or that framework to, to your team or to your product. So okay. unfortunately, that's, uh, uh, people sometimes don't get that they actually have some flexibility in order to be agile and, and do it right, you know.